This short video is going to cover total station calibration uh, to improve measurement accuracy. We're going to cover the reasons why you'd want to perform a total station calibration and we'll run through the SiteWorks total station calibration procedure. This is a three-step process and involves uh, the level compensator calibration, horizontal angle and vertical angle collimation and tracker collimation. So some of the reasons why we would want to do a total station calibration is if we're seeing noticeable errors in total station or UTS observations. Uh, this could include seeing a difference between left face and right face when measuring to a prism. If there's been a changing ambient temperature or if the total station has been subject to rough handling, being tossed around in the back of a truck, etc. One other reason is if there's a visible misalignment when using the auto lock um, to target a prism. This next short clip will show how to start the whole total station calibration process and look at the level compensator calibration. First, you'll need to set up your total station. You can set it up on an existing job or start a new project. Uh, the position of it is not important. You can just set up an arbitrary location. To begin the total station calibration, click on the menu. Scroll down to settings. And then click total station calibration. It'll ask if you have the handle connected and reply yes. Step one will be the level compensator. The instrument will turn to eight equally spaced angles and record the level information. Step two of the total station calibration is doing a horizontal angle and vertical angle collimation. We have our target set up 100 metres away, uh, facing towards the total station. Here we'll choose three measurements, but you can select more if you want to get higher accuracy or more redundancy. You'll need to line the crosshairs manually onto the centre of the prism before pressing the measure button. Continue taking all of three measurements on phase one, and then once this is done, take three measurements on phase two. Remember to move off the target and recite the target as accurately as possible between observations. The instrument automatically turns to phase two so that you continue the last three measurements. When the final observation is taken, the instrument switches back to phase one and it will compute the new horizontal angle and vertical angle collimation values. The third and final step of a total station calibration is doing a tracker collimation. Make sure that using a multi-track target or similar in active mode because the instrument needs to actually lock onto it to take the observations on phase one and phase two. After the first measurement, 
the instrument will automatically change face and take their face two measurement. Once it's taken several measurements of face one and face two, it will display the new and old values for the tracking collimation. That's the end of the total station calibration procedure. That concludes this short video. Thank you for watching.